Pink Floyd is one of the most experimental and influential rock bands in music history. The band formed after several bandmates were childhood friends in Cambridge, England, and later met up again while attending school in London. Growing up in Cambridge, Sid Barrett, Roger Waters and David Gilmour played in bands and developed their unique Pink Floyd sound against the backdrop of the merging 60s psychedelic counterculture. Originally called the Pink Floyd Sound, they played long live improvisational shows and began experimenting with psychedelic sounds that had never been heard before. This is the brief history of the founders of Pink Floyd. Growing up in Cambridge, Sid Barrett is encouraged into music and art by his parents and becomes successful in both. He is intelligent and well-liked growing up. Barrett's family hosts musical hangouts for Sid and his friends. His father dies when he is just 15 years old. Many of Sid's friends growing up claim that Sid has star quality right from the beginning. Sid leaves for Cambridge School of Art on a scholarship in 1962. Sid meets up with his friend David Gilmore who is studying modern languages. They play guitar on lunch breaks practicing Rolling Stones and blues songs. Sid leaves for London in 1964 and meets up with another Cambridge friend, Roger Waters, who invites him to join his band. Sid becomes Pink Floyd's frontman writing the entire first album. Sid incorporates his playful artistic mindset into his songwriting of Pink Floyd's incredible first album, Saucerful of Secrets. By 1966, Sid begins taking large doses of LSD, which leads to his erratic behaviour making him detached from the reality and grind of being in a touring band. By 1968, Sid leaves Pink Floyd and goes on to a brief solo career, but never fully gained his faculties and stays with his family until his death in 2006. Sid's brief but impactful music career turned him into a folk hero amongst rock music fans. ...and things where, where obviously volume is necessary. And when people dance, they like uh, volume, you know, comes in uh, on its own, but... Uh... Roger Waters grows up in Cambridge and is neighbours with Sid Barrett. He is raised by his single mother after his father died in War World II when Roger is just five months old. Distrust of authority, particularly government, education and military institutions, later becomes a recurring theme in Waters' writing. Roger attends Morley Memorial Junior School with Sid and later both attended the Cambridge County School for Boys. Roger is athletic, playing rugby, cricket and swimming, including at River Cam in Grantchester Meadows. In 1962, Waters enrolls at Regent Street Polytechnic School of Architecture. During this time, Waters meets Nick Mason and Richard Wright, and they form a band with three others called Sigma Six. When a couple of members leave, Roger invites Sid Barrett to join. They change their name to the Pink Floyd Sound. When Sid leaves the band in 1968, Roger steps up as the lead songwriter and singer. With Roger Waters at the helm, the band goes on to create their best-selling albums, including Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall, which are still some of the greatest selling rock albums of all time. Nick Mason grows up in Hempstead, London. His father was a documentary filmmaker. Nick later goes on to enrol at Regent Street Polytechnic School of Architecture, where he meets Waters and Wright. Nick loves jazz, which influences his playing when he joins Roger and Rick along with three others to form Sigma Six. Eventually they leave school to just do music, which pays off when Sid Barrett joins and writes their first album. Nick Mason, a founding member of Pink Floyd, is the only member of the band to play on every single album. Mason currently tours with his own band, Nick Mason's Saucerful of Secrets. Richard Wright grows up in Hatch End, Middlesex, where his father is a biochemist. Rick teaches himself to play guitar, trumpet, trombone and piano around the age of 12 while recovering from a broken leg. He begins to take music lessons in music theory and composition at the Eric Gilder School of Music. Rick is heavily influenced by jazz and especially loves Miles Davis and John Coltrane. He focuses on becoming a pianist, but eventually goes on to enrol at Regent Street Polytechnic School of Architecture, where he meets Nick and Roger. Initially, Rick only plays keyboards when needed with Sigma Six, not deciding on an instrument early on. Once Pink Floyd is fully formed with Sid, Rick also sings and harmonizes on many of the songs. Rick goes on to play piano, organ, mellotron, keyboards, vibraphone, synthesizers, Additionally, Wright played guitar, flute, cello, trombone, violin, drums, saxophone and bass. Rick and Sid are close and share an apartment for a period of time. Rick takes Sid on vacation 
When Sid begins to show signs of a mental breakdown, hoping to help him pass the mental health issues. He even plays on Sid's solo albums after Sid leaves Pink Floyd. Initially, Rick helps with songwriting, but eventually Roger takes over all songwriting as the dominant personality. Rick's sophisticated music composition lends to the band's quality and depth, while right on keyboards becomes an integral part of their live shows. Rick is often compared to George Harrison's role in the Beatles as the quiet one. Rick Wright played on nearly every Pink Floyd album. Rick departs the band for a period of time in the 1970s to focus on his family after the strain of the band leads to conflicts. By 1994, Rick rejoins Pink Floyd after Roger Waters leaves. At the time of Richard Wright's death in 2008, Roger Waters says of him, it's hard to overstate the importance of his musical voice in the Pink Floyd of the 60s and 70s. David Gilmour grows up in Cambridge not far from Roger and Sid, where they meet on Hill Road. His father works at Cambridge University as a zoology lecturer. His mother is a film editor for the BBC. He starts learning to play the guitar after hearing Elvis and the Everly Brothers. While studying modern languages, he goes on to learn and speak fluent French. David will eventually play guitar with Sid at college on lunch breaks and go to join several bands. David works as a driver and even a fashion assistant for Ozzy Clark during this time. While playing in Paris, his band's equipment is stolen, so they return to London. During this time, he goes to see his friends in Pink Floyd play See Emily Play. He is shocked to find Sid in his deteriorated condition when Sid does not recognise him. It is during this time that the band invites David to help cover for Sid when he is not capable of playing or showing up for gigs. While they try to get Sid to contribute to songwriting, David begins to take on the role of lead guitar, and the band starts to take off. David produces Sid's first album, The Madcap Laughs. After Waters' departure from Pink Floyd, David Gilmour takes over to lead the band on their subsequent albums with Division Bell being the most successful album under his lead. David Gilmour's unique guitar sound, which has been described as spacey using a variety of techniques and effects. David Gilmour is considered one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Pink Floyd has sold more than 250 million records worldwide, making them one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Their experimental progressive rock sound has influenced countless bands, yet no one sounds anything like Pink Floyd. <laughs> 